Okay, the diagram here shows the straight line graph, right? So right on the gradient of this line. To get the gradient, you need to do a triangle, right? So you choose two points. Now it doesn't matter where the two points are. All right, I could choose this point here, and I could choose this point here. Two, two nice points on the, on the line. Nice points because they've got whole value coordinates. We're going to draw a triangle. Okay. And what we do is we work out what the what this rise is here. So it's going from um, two to six. That's four. And of course, we work out the step going across. Now it looks as though it's the same as forwards, isn't it? It's the same size, but these they've got a different scale here. So it's actually going across two here. And to get the gradient, right? Um, remember the formula we use is the rise divided by the step. Okay. In other words, the vertical, which is four, divided by two. Okay, and the answer is two. Now you also need to work, ask yourself, you know, is it a positive or negative gradient, right? Um, just to double check you got this right. In this case, it is positive because the line's going up. Okay, if it was going down that way, it, you'd need to have negative in the answer. Okay, but um, it's going up, so it's positive. So it's write down the equation then of the line in the form y equals m x plus c. Now m and c it says a whole number. Now m, right, is the gradient. Okay, so it'll be 2x, yeah, instead of m, because we worked out the gradient to be 2, plus then c. Now c, quite simply, is where the line crosses the y-axis, crosses the y-axis here, so we plus 4. Part b then, without drawing, show the line 2y equals 5x minus 3 is parallel to the line 4y equals 10x plus 7. You must show your work and support this. And what I would do is, right, get it in the form y equals mx plus c, okay? That's the key to this, get it in that form. So what I need to do is 2y equals 5x minus 3. Now I need to just get y here on its own, yeah? So what I need to do then is, because I'm timesing by 2, I need to take the 2 over and divide, okay? And when I divide this side, I could divide the whole thing by 2. So 5x minus 3 all over 2. Or I could divide each term by 2, okay? Like that, okay? And it's in, the, in this particular question for straight lines is better to do each term, divide each term by two. It's better to write it like that. Okay? And if I do the same for this one, four y equals ten x plus seven, then y would equal now I divide each term by four. Okay. Now what we can do, this one is quite nice the way it's set up, but when you look at this one here, we could simplify this. Ten over four becomes five over two, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, because you just half top and bottom, and you notice they've got the same gradient. And 5 over 2, what is that, 2.5? So you could say, look, they have the same gradient of 2.5. So lines have got to be parallel. If you've got the same gradient, the same slope, that means they're both parallel. 